Because there wasn't enough money in the accounts after you already made the friggin' transfer. I mean, I spent two. I spent two hours. I spent two hours on the phone last month screwing around with you morons getting this set up because you set it up wrong the first time. So did you set it up wrong the second time? How incredibly stupid are you people? And if this is above your pay grade, get me somebody with a little intelligence to chase. If you have such a person working for you. I don't like spending two hours every month to make a lousy transfer because you people are so stupid. Yeah, look into it right now. Look into it right now and tell me why I got two notices from you and I'm wasting my time sitting on the phone talking to you clowns. No. No. Yeah. Don't ask me a bunch of stupid questions. Yeah. My name is Arthur Wolf. Who the hell are you? What happened to? Yeah. What happened to the last person I was just talking to? I was just talking to Abby, a supervisor. Get me back to her. Uh, let me see. Give me just one second, okay? What yeah. was her name? Abby. A B B Y. Let me see if I can connect her. Hold on. How can I help you? You can help me. I've been dealing with one moron after another at Chase Bank for the last 20 minutes. Get me your supervisor. Okay. Get me a supervisor now. I was just disconnected from a stupid supervisor. Find me a supervisor who understands English and who can read English. If you have such a person okay. working for Chase. Of course I do. Give me just one moment, please. Yeah. Yes? Thank you very much for helping. I have Richard Arneal on the line, sir. He's going to take a little call. Thanks for making the check. Hello, Mr. Yes. What's your employee number? Uh, that's not something that we give out, sir. Is there something I can help you with? Spell me your last name. D N Y E L. Do you speak English? I'm speaking with you now, sir. How can I help you? Do you comprehend English? That's the question I should have answered. Okay, Mr. Wolf, I appreciate it. I don't mind having a conversation. Okay, I don't want to insult you. Give me the last name of Abby, the last stupid supervisor that I talked to who disconnected me. Okay? You got it there on your screen. Give me her last name. I don't even have your account up at the moment, so I don't know. I wouldn't know who without those kind of listening to the call. I included it's a little bit hard to you people are just insufferable. My account number. And that's your current address? 10301 Wood Owl, Las Vegas, Nevada, 89144. Now tell me what Abby's last name is, the stupid moron that she is. Is there a different address? 77 West Washington, Suite 1290, Chicago 60602. Yes, thank you very much. Now, what's Abby's last name? Who disconnected me after 15 minutes of wasting my time? Okay, Mr. Wolf, we have a lot of employees here. I don't know. Who Just look at the friggin' screen. She put her name in there because the woman who talked to me said that she had the name of the previous person that I talked to. So I'm sure her name and her ID number are on the screen for this damn account. Before she hung up on, disconnected me, and left me hanging. Okay, I will look at it, sir, but is there anything I can help you with? Yeah, yeah. Do you have my account there? Uh, Not once, but twice you sent it to me. On the 25th of February, 
after you made the transfer on the 24th of February, which tells me that Chase is, is stupider than any small community bank that I deal with. I spent two hours last month screwing around with Chase, trying to get you to properly set up an ACH transfer, and pardon my French, you screwed it up again this month, wasting my time. And then I call in, and I get some moron, and I ask to speak to a supervisor, and I get a moron supervisor named Abby that you allegedly can't find, who says she's going to check on it and disconnects me and puts me back in the queue, and then I get your woman who got who just got me you. So I'm on the phone 30 minutes screwing around with you clowns after spending two months last month doing exactly the same thing because you people are morons. Now, can you understand why I'm really pissed at you? That I gotta spend two month, two hours every month getting a lousy ACH transfer that's supposed to eliminate me having to get on the phone at all that you're supposed to do, and you clowns can't even do it. Not in January, not in February. Don't apologize to me. You know how many friggin' apologies I've got from Chase? I've got hundreds of apologies from you clowns, from your incompetent work. Now, you find out for me right now without disconnecting me why the hell you screwed up on this yet again and you give me the name and the phone number for your regional manager. Give me the phone number first before you disconnect me. Get it. Get it. You're a supervisor. Use your intelligence. Get me the damn number. What's this phone number? Give me a direct number. Don't give me a bullshit number that i got to spend 20 minutes going through. Tell me why you can't do a freaking simple ACH transfer once a month. Why well, i got to put up with this bullshit and have to deal with your incompetent personnel every month for two hours. I want to know why you sent me an email telling me that you can't make the transfer after you already freaking made the transfer. I want to know why I'm pissing away a half an hour on the phone talking to you clowns when you already did what you were supposed to do until you misled me by sending me two emails telling me that you couldn't make the friggin' transfer you had already made. Because I don't want to do this again in March. Make sure, unlike the moron Abby, who told me exactly the same thing, and then put me back into the queue, so I started all over again. Don't do that to me. I want you to help. I want you to make sure that you understand, not to disconnect me like the moron supervisor who disconnected me 30 minutes ago. That's all. If you understand English, you'll understand what I'm saying to you. You can't understand? No, you're absolutely right. I'm not professional with you because I'm on the phone doing something that I shouldn't have to do that I've done twice before with Chase and pissed away two hours each time doing it. And then you send me an email and I get a moron supervisor named Abby who disconnects me while she's going to allegedly research the question. So I'm just telling you to make sure that you don't disconnect me like the moron Abby did, okay? You want to take it personal, that's fine. If you want to recognize the, fi the fact that you're dealing with a bunch of people who work for Chase who are as stupid as anybody in the Western Hemisphere, you can do whatever you want with that information. I just don't want to be back in a queue a third time talking to somebody. Because if you disconnect me, I will go to Mr. Houston, and I will go up the line with your name and your location. Yeah. Yeah. So, you, all I'm getting is, is you're threatening and threatening the whole time here. I can't even work on you should do on this work. 
work on the issues. All I'm saying to you is I am threatening you. Okay, and I'm telling you for the fourth time, make okay, sure you don't, 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 don't disconnect me. Don't disconnect me. Don't disconnect me. Yeah, that's seven times I've told that to you. Now I'm waiting for you to do your investigation. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're absolutely right. I don't make it easy when I'm dealing with people who are so stupid that they shouldn't be employed. They shouldn't have a job. They shouldn't get welfare. They can't do their job. They disconnect me. They tell me that they're going to go and do something, and then they disconnect me. So I've asked you seven times to make sure not to disconnect me. So now I'm going to wait and see whether you get done what you said you're going to get done or whether you're going to disconnect me. Okay? Very simple. Thank you.